uh, you, uh, you've worked extensively for many, many years at the field level, even uh, as far back as President Suharto's times. You've seen many initiatives, you've seen many programs. Has there been one initiative or a policy that you really be believe has made a great difference to the lives of the people that you've worked with? Yes, thank you, Puneru. Uh, I remember my mother, that my mother always says, as a woman, if you want to success, you have to remember five things. First, as a woman, you have worked as honestly. Why honestly is very important? You know Indonesia now is a very highly case of the corruption. So as women, we would like to work differently and also we have to think also differently with it. Secondly, you have to work with the love and empathy because women is work with here, not in here. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, you have work with consistently with the woman hand in hand and make them more strongly with the collective power. And another is very important is you have to totally what we can do, we can do the best for the women, for the family, for the community and our country. And the last one, as a woman, you have smartly. You have to work hand in hand and with women with the smartly. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. I also wanted to ask you that one of the very in interesting um, projects that you've worked on is like a women's microfinance initiative. And that I think you've done in eight different provinces around Indonesia. Uh, what have you learned from this experience? You've touched many people's lives. Yes, I learned a lot from the women in the grassroots level. When we hand a hand to develop a group, we start from the very small thing. They have uh, 1,000 they save in the group. And after that, we are make a scheme how to give a loan from the women and women can access. It's very small thing from the loan and they start in the business. It's very micro business. So if you see on the movie that this, uh, the they business very small, it's very micro. And for that, uh, we believe that in our experience, our learn that if we empower women in the economic, so we also empower the family and the community. Mostly of the women income is focused for the women family for the children, for the education, for the health, not for the woman itself. Thank you. I wanted to um, you know, just point out that Ibu Titik has worked tirelessly and selflessly for, uh, to make a difference to the lives of women that she has touched over her life. Ibu Titik, now at this stage of your life, what is it that you want to achieve for yourself? Very simple. I want to be a good woman mean that I want to do more for the community, for the women, hand to hand, to build the collective power for the women, and also give for my grandchild, because I already have the grandchild, for my family and my community. So it's very simple. I would like to be a good woman. <laughs>